We're really excited to be bringing Norwegian Escape uh, to New York uh, in April of next year. So that's, uh, that's the big thing that we're super excited about. So Norwegian Escape is um, uh, our, the newest ship in the Norwegian fleet. So we're bringing our, our, the, the newest and the best um, here to New York. She's, um, she's going to sail to Bermuda. She'll do some uh, Florida Bahamas. She'll do some Canada, New England. She'll uh, do some long cruises uh, down to the southern and the western Caribbean. So lots of choices of itinerary. Now, what we've done with NCO, uh, Norwegian Cruise Line has been a true partnership. I'm going to tell you why. For one, we've been together through everything that we speak about, whether it's putting the cruise together, the ideas and how, you know, what, what we want to do. And when we did the Pitbull cruise, the After Dark cruise, they said, we want to make it your ship. What is meant to me to be the godfather of Norwegian Escape, it's a true honor, true blessing. And the irony behind it is that my father brought boats over in the Mario boat lift, and that was the escape for the Cubans to get over to the United States of America. So to be the godfather of a ship called the Escape, true irony behind it, but it goes to show you that was probably just uh, uh, our destiny, right? Well, for one, to have the ship in Miami, which Miami I call the pineapple, and obviously New York is the big apple. So we're taking the ship from the pineapple to the Big Apple, and I call it almost like the alley -oop, because now New York's gonna come and slam dunk it, and it's gonna be able to take off by, I mean, I would say, the biggest mecca in the world. So it just goes to show you how much Miami's grown in such a short time, and it's just following an amazing city like New York right now. So it's a true honor and a true blessing. What it's meant to be able to have this partnership with Norwegian's been great. I've learned a lot, had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun, I would say, but Something else that's ironic, my first time on a cruise ship was on, on, on a Norwegian cruise line. So to be able to see how they operate, what they do, and how they do it is something that we can also learn from their business and apply to what we got going on for our brand, number one. And number two is that they also allow us to be us. And that's what I really love about this partnership. It's not just an endorsement. It's more of, what do you think? What do you want? How do you want it? What's the pit, uh, the pit bull experience, which is what we did on the After Dark? But the most important part is, it's not only in the good times that they're partners, it's also in the bad times. And when I mean the bad times is when people really need help. So when you find a partner that really steps up to the plate without having, without trying to step to the world on it, they say, you know, we need to get this done. Hey, line up the ships, let's ride. And that's what happened with the hurricanes that hit. And even before Maria hit Puerto Rico, there was already ships on the way to the Virgin Islands. So to be able to be a part of that kind of partnership, to me, is a true alliance. And it allows us to step and help any time that we can as a true unit, you know, which I think, obviously, in the times we're living, in, we're living in right now, is needed. That's great, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank My you. pleasure. From the